I'm Jake Corning with Aceta, and in this video we're going to show how to configure and program an on-robot three-finger gripper on the Fastload CX-1000 robot system. The first step is to download the plugin with, for the on-robot three-finger gripper that corresponds to the Fanuc CRX robot. So first we'll navigate to onrobot.com, go to the download section at the top of the page, and then we'll navigate through the menus to select the equipment that we have on the robot. So we'll go to product, select the three finger gripper with the dual quick changer, with another three finger gripper. We'll select the robot we have, so it's the Fanuc CRX series. Go to software, select the latest software version, and then we'll download the OnRobot Fanuc CRX plugins for the 3FG15 for Ethernet IP. And then once that's downloaded, we'll put it on a USB B stick. And once that's loaded on there, we'll remove the USB and load this into the robot controller. We'll open the side door of the fast load and plug the USB into the side of the robot controller. Now we'll install the plugin on the robot controller. So the first step will be to make sure you're in teach mode. So hitting the button in the top right corner so you see the finger on the screen. We'll navigate to plugins and install. And the plugin will show in the install list. So select that and hit install. Hit OK. And now it is running the installation. Once the installation is complete, we'll need to restart the robot controller. To restart the robot controller, we'll open the front panel, manually turn the controller off, wait a few seconds, and then turn it back on. Once the plugins are installed, we can install the quick changer onto the robot faceplate and place the grippers on the quick changer, securing them into place. Now that the plugin and the grippers are both installed, we're going to go to the plugin section, three finger gripper, init, and we'll select init, and that'll initialize the communication between the grippers and the robot. Then we can go to 3FG15 setup, and this allows us to configure different parameters on the gripper. So with this screen, we can select between the first gripper or the second gripper independently. So we'll select the finger position. And so these are currently in finger position two. So we'll select that. And right now I have the 10 millimeter steel fingers on there. And these are the standard fingers. So the, they're 49 millimeters. But if we added custom fingers, then we can manually change the length there. And all this information is used to select the diameter values of when you open and close the gripper too. So we'll select, set up the first one, set up the second one, and then now we can test the gripper. So using these, I'll set it to gripper number one, and using these arrows, we can open and close the gripper. We can select a couple different parameters, such as internal grip, if we're gripping the inside of a tube, external grip, if we're gripping the outside of a cylinder. We can tell it to go to a specific diameter, at a specific force, and hit play. And the gripper will actually move to that position. And then using the flex grip button here allows us to grip a range of diameters so that the diameter of your part doesn't actually have to match the diameter that you command. And once this is all set up, we can proceed to the program and start using the grippers. Now that the grippers are installed and configured, we can begin programming. When the, when the plugins are installed on the robot, you'll see icons specific to the on-robot grippers. So to use these icons, you can drag them into the programming timeline. So we have an icon for moving the gripper, and we also have an icon for gripping apart. So let's select the move gripper. 
it's important to select which gripper you want to control. We're going to be using gripper number one. And we'll, hmm, let's open it to a wide position. We hit save and the diameter value is populated right here. This weight command allows you to go between yes and no. When you select yes, it'll wait until the gripper gets to the right position before it moves to the next line in the program. So I typically leave that as yes. If you want the gripper to be moving while the robot's moving, you can set that to no, and then it'll move to the next command in your program while finishing the move command of the gripper. The next icon is the grip command. This is similar to move, but it also allows you to control a grip force and if you're doing an internal or an external pick. So we'll make that a little smaller, pretend like we're gripping apart, hit save, it saves that diameter value, and then let's do how about 75% grip force. So now, if we run our program, it'll do the move command, and then it'll do the grip command. And since there was no part there, it didn't detect the part because we had that weight command in there, so it'll alert the robot that nothing was gripped. So now that this is all configured, you can begin teaching points with the robot, setting pick and place, and um, creating the program. Please contact us either if you have any questions.